and then came down to check the creek. And this was all dry yesterday. It's really cool though. There's sun coming into this space now. So that's exciting. This is my first time seeing any water on this side. So this is interesting. Okay, hear me out for a second. You wake up every morning, come outside, grab your coffee, say hello to all your friends, check out this amazing view. Then from there, you head on down to the creek. Come on, pal. It's so cool that we can actually see the creek from the cabin now. This area here, I'm thinking is a future fire pit area. Sunrise is here. So in the mornings, maybe have a little fire. Maybe we can make our coffee outside or breakfast. A little chair for me and Dobby and uh, just take in the creek every morning. This was an instant regret. I should have made it a little bit higher. Could have made it into a chair. I was also thinking this would have been a great spot for an elevated, um, elevated spot for cutting wood. And yeah. Anyway, that was instant regret, but lessons learned. This spot right here, I am gonna cut this down. I'm thinking this will be just a work table. That way, again, I can take in the creek. I can face either direction. And uh, yeah, I could just use it as just a multi-purpose table for whether it's work on my laptop or just working with different tools or anything. So that's what I was kind of thinking there. Also, it feels really cool to be able to see a lot more when we're standing here. Come on, pal. I want to show you something. Here, I'm thinking, is going to be a future kind of wash station. In the van, I used to have um, a pump faucet I used to use, and it worked really well. Um, just had I just had a little sink, the pump faucet, and some 24-gallon jugs underneath it, and I thought it worked really well. I feel like it'll work really well in this area because I can use it uh, for the apples or just, you know, a wash station. And then over here, I'm thinking these two trees might turn into maybe the best seat in the house. I'm thinking of making this into a swing chair. How cool would that be? And then if that doesn't work out, just make it into a bench. But yeah, pretty cool. And it's already got its own little bench right here, so. Pretty cool. And how amazing is it to be able to see all of this stuff clear? So cool. It took me a couple days to clear all of this out. Did find some rope next to those hoses. Over here, I also found a cable over there as well. So eventually we got to keep going. We're going to keep going in this direction, start clearing out all that stuff. We're thinking maybe to go up towards that tree to the creek and then just basically keep going. The good thing about this is if I hug this creek the entire way and start clearing it out, it'll take me right to the path that I'm using to walk up towards the cabin there. So then that way I can have a little shortcut and then come this way. I have noticed though, since I've been using this area more walking, this area is just so muddy. So I'm hoping the sun will help me out with that, but potentially maybe a future staircase. This stone wall 
I was thinking about this and I'm pretty sure that they put this here so that they could raise the water of the creek so that they can pump it up to the cabin. And also, this stone wall goes all the way to the access road. So I think at one point this whole area was clear, which would be so cool to see. And, and if you aren't picking up on the terrain yet, everything is on a downhill slope around the cabin. The water flow when it rains is definitely a concern because it washes out parts of the main road and the access road that I'm walking. Also, a few of you picked up on this. There is some pools that were made. There's one right there. It's about four feet deep. Very cool. So I need to start clearing this area out as well. And I also found my new favorite seat. It's better than the porch. It's better than the roof. It's just, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna take you with me here. Bear with me. So this little seat comes over top of the creek. So picture yourself here lounging every morning with your coffee or tea or water, whatever you drink. And you're just taking this in. Absolutely beautiful. You can see the cabin as well now from this spot. And with the water rising, it's got me really curious about the different seasons. I think I'm gonna put a stick with flagging tape on it or just spray paint it. And every single time I see the water go up, I'm gonna mark it just so that I can see how far it's going up and what times of the year. And I'm probably gonna do that, you know, on the brook uh, in front and also near the access road as well. Also, if none of you have noticed, there is a waterfall right beside the access road that I walk every morning, which has been so nice because now the leaves are down and uh, there's a little waterfall. And with the leaves are down, you can start seeing through the forest quite a bit more, which is so nice. And I can't wait to see all these future finds because at one point, definitely this whole area was clear and I can't wait to see, see what treasures are there. Speaking of treasures, let me show you something. So underneath this apple tree, I believe it's number 42, I found this old wood stove. It's upside down right now, and it is heavy, but a very cool find. I can definitely utilize that. It's just really heavy. But yeah, finding all sorts of things. Old car parts in here. A few of you have started to notice the trees. Um, I believe they're called uh, burls. It's like the fat part on the tree. Um, I've noticed them in a few different areas here. There's one actually right next to the outhouse. But I'm also, so much has happened since the last time I spoke to you. It's only been a week, but so much has happened. And I have a lot to tell you, a lot. I'll give you a couple in terms of the property. I know at one point this was a farm. It was an apple farm at one point. This was also part of a draft dodger settlement during the Vietnam War. I'm pretty sure this whole area was cleared. You can see tractor tires um, right next to that tree of gondola right there. Wait, the camera doesn't even pick it up. I mean, I can go stand in the divot, but... Um, and that's the only place you can see those tire tracks. So I'm thinking that this whole area was definitely a field, which means that all of this was cleared. And I'm thinking, what's in there? 
Maybe there's a tractor. That'd be cool. You can see on this tree here, I forget, again, I don't remember what they're called. Burls, maybe? I know it's in a, like an expensive wood. So that's very cool. I've seen a few of them. Also, I've never panned up in this area before, but there is a hunting blind right there, an old one. Very cool. But yes, so much to tell you that has happened in the last week. So much. First, this um, channel had like 300 subscribers, I think, two weeks ago. Uh, now we're at 10,000, I got a notification for, which is absolutely mind-blowing to me. I don't even understand. I keep thinking I'm going to wake up in the morning and everybody's going to be gone. So <laughs> I don't know. It's, uh, it's pretty wild. Um, so I have a lot to tell you about this property and a lot that has happened in the last week. It involves talking to locals, it involves locals coming here, it involves discovering some pretty cool things in these hills, which I can't just tell you about, I need to show you. So, in a future video, or the next video, I'm gonna show you something and we're gonna go on a little bit of a hike. Also, check this out. Got the wood stove done. I did a test on it before I painted it. Got this little temperature gauge. It's just a magnetic thing that you throw on the stove. So pretty excited about that. And I think it looks pretty good. This is the second coat of paint I put on it. So I feel like it's gonna turn out pretty well. This pipe was very frustrating to put in. I know it's very simple from everything I've read, but it took me forever. Anyway, I think this looks really good. I bleached the floors again, wiped everything down again. I put some storage stuff back here into this room. I also have some major news with these foundation blocks, which is going to come in a future video. And it's all thanks to you. All thanks to you. If you weren't watching this video, none of this would have happened. So I want to thank everybody so much. And it's crazy how you can change somebody's life just by watching a video or subscribing to a channel, but it's so true. And yeah, I just want to say thank you so much. Also, look at this view. Look at it. It looks so different. I'm thinking this is the kitchen. I think I've changed my mind. I think this might be the kitchen view. Everybody has said the same thing. Rip out this insulation. Uh, I'm in agreement, so I'm going to rip this out, but I do want to have a plan in place to replace it. Um, initially, I wanted to do a spray foam. Which if I spray foam this, I think I should rip out this drywall and spray foam in there too. Looking up here, I should do foam insulation board as well. I'll just cut it to fit. And as most of you have noticed, the attic is not insulate it. It is on a slope, which makes it look really cool. But getting up there and maneuvering around might be a little bit difficult. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. And I'm not sure what the best insulation is for up there. Is it the insulation boards? And also, I'm not sure what to put around that and how close the um, insulation needs to be to the pipe. I'm not sure. Also, I've, as I put in this video, there is a leak still coming from here. It only happened during that crazy rainfall. So I think at some point I would like to put a nice flooring in here. Maybe put like a subfloor insulation underneath um, like a laminate or hardwood floor. Um, these walls I've noticed have been a bit of a debate in the comments. Should I remove them, not remove them? Should I leave one up, have the other one for storage? Yeah, I'm not sure, let me know. But it's definitely got me thinking a lot more about um, the layout and I've definitely changed my mind a little bit, I think. And I'm not sure. Um, 
Let me know what you would do. Let me know. Because I've lived in a van for the last three years, I'm very minimalist. I don't have a lot of things on purpose. And I don't need a lot of things. And I think that's why when I was thinking about this cabin, I was just really thinking about a bigger version of the van, which might sound funny, but anyway. So this is where we're going to leave you. Don't worry. We got a plan in place. I'm really excited to show you about that. I'm really excited to tell you and to show you about all the things that we have learned. And honestly, there's some pretty, pretty shocking stories about this spot. And uh, anyway, I'll talk to y'all in the next one.